Vice President, I would like to thank Brazil for having this important debate with the President at the Security Council. It represents a valuable opportunity to discuss the question of security and development. First of all, for me to thank their excellences, the Minister from Germany, Colombia, Bosnia and Herzegovina, Portugal, India, and Gabon for joining us. And to thank um, as well as Mr. Shano and Mr. Spear for their very good contribution. This is the United Nations, the President of the Nations, the African Union, the European Union, and the organization of the Islamic Conference have all acknowledged that in an increasingly inconsistent world, there is no security without development and no development without security. Despite this broad conception of acknowledgement, the political debate consists of one, the nature of the security development sector, two, the type of policies that could be pursued to security and sustainable development, including the purpose of conflict, and three, the push forward for the security council to prevent the existence of protection or the violence given the mission of Brazil. The future of the post war conflicts have been affecting more civilians, as they have been increasingly entangled with the collapse of state structures, ethnic categories, human rights violations, and acts of terrorism. Therefore, since the 1990s to date, the Council has authorized the development, the deployment of 49 peacekeeping missions with only 18 between 1945 and 1989. These missions have been faced with many challenges on the ground, including the severe environmental consequences of our conflict, particularly among vulnerable populations, whereby societies experience terrible crime generally achieves lower as expressed in the concept known of the world development of 2011. It also on some of the rules many of which have been selected by mention. Indeed, environments with high risk of violence are typically characterized by corruption, inequality, conflict over the resources, poverty, high unemployment, weak social economic institutions and government as vulnerability to crime. Climate change and its environmental consequences are likely to increase the risk of war conflict due to the crisis. Given the interdependence between security and development, peace building has been a big the gap. In this context, the Council noted as early as 2001 in its PRC number five, and I quote, the need for enhancing peace building activities by formulating a strategy based on the interdependence between sustainable peace, security, and development in all dimensions. End of quote. For example, in the PRC, the peace building has an increasingly integrated peace building task. More recently, the community of underground peacekeeping held in Rio. In 2010, they recognized that peace building and peacekeeping efforts implemented in Israel and that peace building could be activated, such as youth, uh, uh, youth employment generation, the development of infrastructure, and the provision of basic services, which can reduce the risk of relapsing conflict and help maintain stability. And then for all the cannot deny the need to promote sustainable development to achieve peace. Development is a key component for conflict prevention, post conflict must be sustained without job creation, open ownership of employment of women, and adequate adequate education. Peace cannot be sustained without enabling the country's leadership. Resources, 
support by the international community to our community. In this context, we know the example of Burundi, that the Secretary General clearly stated in his message report that, quote, peace, justice, and the rule of law cannot be sustained without justice. mentioned that the Taif Accord of 1989, which helped put an end to 15 years of violence in my country, in Lebanon, is an illustration of how development can play an important role for conflict recovery and peace building. of the foundation of this Accord is the principle of sense development. Furthermore, the agreed upon reform includes the need and balance development plan to foster development. for the creation of Council for Development to enable greater participation of the various social economic actors. and the commitment to provide education for primary education and the restructuring of the public education system. the country's development needs and foster Thank you.